हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक नेट गाइड फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर इंटरफेस एंड राउट इन चेक पॉइंट फायरवेल वी विल लर्न इंटरफेस एंड राउट कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इन चेक पॉइंट फायरवेल वी विल सी टू डिफरेंट वे टू कॉन्फिगर इंटरफेस एंड राउट फर्स्ट वी विल डू विथ जी एंड सेकेंड विल डू विथ कमांड लाइन ओके सो फ्रेंड्स you can see this is my topology here and this is security gateway on which we will configure interfaces and route okay you can see we have a four interface on this gateway it is zero connected to my management server its ip already configured i have already configured 70.201 and it is one connected to my inside network router one and its ip is 1.0 1. its interface ip is 1.1 okay now my third inter interface ets2 connected to my dmj network r2 so its ip 162 172 16 1.1 interface ip will be 1. Dot, interface ip will be 1.1 okay and my fourth interface ets3 connected to my outside network this is my outside network internet zone and this interface ip is 4.2.2.1 okay now we will configure our firewall interface we'll see how to configure its ip now let's log in on my gateway gy with this ip address okay okay now log in with my firewall ip here configuration log just unlock the configuration okay now to configure this we have to click under the network management we have to click on network interfaces okay here it will show all the interfaces of your firewall so it is zero is my management interface i have already configured it now we will configure here eth1 now double click on eth1 now by default it will be disabled so you have to enable it okay now provide the ip address so what is ip address of inside network so ip address will be 192.168.1.1 okay so, so provide ip address here 192.168.1.1 and some networks will be 255 255.255.0 now you can select here mto monitor mode duplex size auto negotiation and you will keep change here duplex side okay so i will keep auto negotiation now click on okay now we have to configure second interface same way my second interface ip address is 172 160 16 1.1 .1. 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, 255, Now and check IP address on interfaces FW get its get ifs come on it will show all the IP address which I have configured on my interface okay now we will configure route a static route and default route let's see how to configure first let me show you the route okay currently there is no any route configured is showing only connected network so now we will configure route here okay now go to so for route you have to you can see under the network management there is option ip origin for static route so you can see by default st default route is here so just double click to edit it now just add gateway 
net gateway or you can also add interface so for my default route so what will be my default route my default route will be towards to internet so so my next hope will be this one for my default route okay go to gui now provide here next hope ip address for default route okay and click on okay save now we have to configure a static route for this network to bridge firewall here now and to configure a static route for this network okay so for this network my gateway will be this one and for this network my gateway will be this one okay so let's now go to, now we have to click on add route to a static route so what is my destination for inside zone my destination is 1.1.0 and submit mask not zero okay so what will be my next hop gateway 192.168.1.10 for inside zone okay now add gateway for dfz zone 160.1.0 255 255 255 not 0 ok what will be gateway 172 16.1.10 ok save now we can check here on firewall now we can check here so route you know you can see so route 0.0, .0 default route 4.2 connected and static route for you can see also static route 150.1.0 via 1. now you can see static route for 150.1.0 via 192 168 1.0 1.10 and for 160.1.1.0 via 172.16.1.10 okay now we have configured here so now let's try to ping from firewall so let's check if i am able to pinging here now i can now i can be able to ping 150.1.1 8.8.8 and 160.1.1 let's check here my connectivity is okay ping ping 150.1 inside network okay actually I have not powered on the devices routers now I have power on then we'll check okay once is power on let's check if it is power on it's getting on now it's on so now we can try to ping here again 50.1.1.1 now able to ping okay 160 160.1.1.1 now to ping ping 8.8.8.8 now to ping now from my security gateway I am able to ping all networks ok so now what we can do now friends we have seen first method how to configure how to configure route and interface via GUI so friends said uh, this video is getting long so in next video we will see how to configure interface and route via CLI. So thanks for watching this video have a nice day.